Hi, welcome to Little Miss Kate. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. If you're returning back to my channel, then welcome back. If you like this video, give it a massive thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you'd like to see more of my videos. I'm someone who suffers with anxiety and depression and I have done for well over 20 years. So I feel I'm quite experienced in this department. Now today's video is going to be slightly different. I'm going to talk to you about what's in my handbag. Now I bought this handbag recently off Amazon for £18. I bought it because I have to house a couple of more items for my health, which I didn't have to house in a handbag um, before. And I needed a handbag that had a bit more space. So it's, this handbag is made in some um, Asian country. I can't quite pronounce the name, so I'm not going to try to. Um, it's along the lines of the Hello Kitty sort of brand, where it came with like a cute little um, key, key ring and it came with some little badges and stuff. I did try and put them on and see if it would work, but it didn't quite um, look as good. So it has got four pockets. Now in the first pocket, which is a plastic pocket, and I was kind of like thinking I didn't like the plastic on the pockets because I thought, all oh, that makes it look really cheap. But it's growing on me. And I've put in here a heart um, just to decorate it a bit more. This heart is one where when I was in hospital, I was given a heart and the person who couldn't come and see me was given a heart as well. So that it kept us quite close to each other. So I've put that in the front of my pocket. Now, I was thinking of actually taking this back and getting my money back for it and just deciding that I'm not going to really um, have the handbag anymore. And my mum was going to take the handbag off my hands and use it herself. But then she said to me that today, she said, why don't you give it a bit of a try, the handbag? see if it works for you and if you don't like it i can always take it off your hands or whatever so i said <clears throat> so i said that's a good idea i think that's what i will do so this is what i've done i'm i'm working with the handbag i'm seeing how i like it and if it doesn't work out then i will return it back to my mum or i will just donate it now in the second pocket I have a diary. Now I do have most of my diary things on my phone, but when I've got to quickly drop down a date of something, rather than having to scroll through my phone and jot it down there, I jot it down in here, and then when I get home, I transfer it onto my phone or my Google Hub. I also have a pen in here Girl's got to have a pen and I also have two notebooks. I don't know why I carry two, I just do. Maybe it's because if that one runs out of paper, I've got another one on hand. I should probably really only have one. I try to wean myself off, off the two. I also have two prayer cards, which I like to carry with me so that I can always have a prayer that's on hand and these ones are quite good because they relate to depression and feeling lonely and so forth. So I always like to keep them in my handbag as well. So then we go on to the next um, compartment, which as you go up the bag, the compartments get bigger. So in this compartment, I have some tissues. I have them just in case I need to clean up a spill or I don't know I need someone's with me and they said us and they asked me have you got any tissues I can always say yes I do so that goes in that compartment there then I also have a handkerchief now I like using handkerchiefs better than using um, tissues so I always have a hanky on me at all times I also have some wipes. I have wipes for sticky hands, maybe a sticky um, area that needs wiping while I'm out and about. 
I always like to carry some lovely wipes with me. Um, and also sometimes my mum, when I'm out with her, she'll ask me if I've got any. Also, I carry hand sanitizer. Girls gotta have hand sanitizer, especially with um, COVID the way it is. And also due to my leukemia, I have to be very vigilant to try not to catch anything. So that goes in that one. Then we move up to the top main compartment. And in the top main compartment, I have, this is um, an inhaler spacer. So you put the inhaler in there and then you blow on it and it fills your lungs up with your, your, your steroid or whatever. And I got told last week that I needed to carry this with me wherever I went. And that's what kind of made me change um, bags or buy a new bag was because I was kind of like wondering how I was going to fit that in my other bag because my other bag was a bit more smaller. So that goes in there. I also have in here, I have some Crufts Human Treats. I got these when I went to Crufts the first time about two, three, about three or so years ago and it came with jelly babies in it. And I've always liked keeping the tin because it's very useful. But now what I keep in here is I keep herbal tea in here. And people do say it's a bit weird. But it's basically because if I'm going to say a WI meeting or I'm going to um, out somewhere and they don't supply any herbal tea, and it's only tea or coffee, then at least I can just ask for hot water and use these tea bags. I always make sure that they're, that they're refreshed so they're not out of date. I also house in here um, a little makeup bag. It's a Radley makeup bag, which I absolutely love. And in here I have my hairbrush, I have my inhaler, I have some, ha some hand cream, I have some hair ties and I've got a um, little compact mirror in there. I won't get it all out because um, there's a few, few bits in there. Then what I have in this bag, now this bag was one that I got um, when I went overseas on a trip. And you know how they give you like a little bag and you've got like an eye mask, you've got like um, earplugs and you've got socks. Well. I use this one to put um, various items in, like my um, pads. I put in here some ginger for my um, anti-sickness with my leukemia the way it is. I also house some like Panadol, um, also got some chewing gum, I've also got some band-aids just in case I um, cut myself or something happens and I need one like blisters or anything and so that goes in the top main compartment as well and then the last item I have in here is Radley um, purse and it's got obviously all my cards and stuff in there and that's what I house in there as well so that also goes in the top main compartment now that's all that I have in my bag apart from obviously I put my phone in there when I need to but on the back here it's got two sort of straps on each side now you can undo these straps by clipping them off and then clipping them onto the hair and having it going down that way and you do get two um two straps so you can do that so here's the other strap and you can turn it into a backpack and so that's basically it really if anybody's got any ideas on how I can perhaps style it up a bit more because they did come with some charms which I liked but I just couldn't seem to get it to work properly or make it look how I wanted it to look. So if you've got any ideas on how I could perhaps um, jazz up this bag or maybe you could just say to me your bag looks perfectly fine, leave it as it is, then that would be great. Anyhow, that's all I've really got to say to you today. Um, if you, I hope you guys have been having a really good week. It's been a bit strange for us here in the UK because obviously with the Queen passing away, we've sort of been in this mourning stage 
where basically all the TV programs are not on and the only ones that are on are things about the Queen. We had the Queen's funeral today, so that's that's um, sadly finished. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get back to a bit of normality um, and try and get used to, instead of saying, say, say, God save the Queen, we've got to now get used to saying, God save the King. So anyhow, I'll talk to you another time and please take care and look after yourselves. God bless.